Hello everyone, um, just wanted to make another video today just to talk about a couple of things, maybe two or three. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is humidity. Okay guys, so if you watched my last video, which was my first video, um, you know that I'm, you know, a new, newly all natural. I, I did my big chop on um, Christmas Eve and today is January uh 24th so so um it's been a month <clears throat> and so I'm still kind of getting used to my hair and still learning the different things to do so um one thing that I've definitely learned I despise humidity well okay I won't say that it's a love-hate relationship more so hate than love I love humidity for one reason and one reason only because when it's humid outside and you go out there with your hair all out, your hair like feels so soft and like wonderful and it just kind of soaks up all the water and it feels so moisturized and so great and you're like, ooh, wow, this is nice. It's really soft and ooh, I like this. Okay, so that's the like reason. Now let's get to the not like. Um, It destroys your hairstyle. Like, you guys... I'm wearing this puff right now, but do you think I walked out the house this morning with this puff? Absolutely not. I had this cute little twist out, my little chunky twist out, and I'm getting good at them, so I was finally excited that I'm able to do my chunky twist out, and it looks cute more times than it doesn't look cute. <sighs> walked outside. So I'm in school, um, and I take the bus to campus. So I'm waiting for the bus, and of course... I'm outside for maybe five minutes. By the time I get on the bus, like today I had the foresight to put a headband in my purse because I figured my hair would come out looking like this. <sighs> Not that I have a problem with the puff. I mean, I, you know, I love my natural texture when it's just doing what it does. But I mean, when you want to wear your cute twist out, you don't want to end up with a puff. You want to keep your cute twist out. Woe is me, you guys. Woe is me. But I'm sure y'all understand. Okay, that was thing number one. Thing number two, um, so my last video, I asked you guys for a lot of product suggestions and it was just kind of like a help me, help me, I'm new to this and I don't know what works for my hair and someone help me who has really kinky, forcey hair like me. So I got a lot of suggestions, which I'm really grateful for and um, try to reply to everyone who responded and just say thanks for the um, suggestion and to be honest I didn't take a lot of them but I did read all of them um some of them were about like using gel and I'm just not a big fan I don't really want to go the gel route um but so I've finally discovered two really 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 simple things that work really well for me and just from being on YouTube and looking at hair blogs like there's not a lot of um, information out there for people who have 4C hair textures and a lot of people who tag their videos 4C don't really have 4C so it's like you know, thanks, but kind of no thanks because you don't really have 4C. So I now this, I have like a true 4C. Like if you can't tell, I mean this, okay, this was like a twist out that ended up in a puff. So it has a little bit of something going on, but just trust me on the 4C note. Just trust me on that one. So, um, and I've also expressed that I just have no desire to be a product junkie. I don't want to be that person who's spending hundreds of dollars and has just bottles and bottles and bottles of products. So I use two products every night when I do my twist outs and it's just like heaven. Like the next day, my hair is just so wonderful. So the first product, which I did mention in my last video that um, my best friend, like I just kind of got it by circumstance because my best friend's been natural for a couple of years and this is a product that she bought a while back and she didn't like it and she hadn't been using it and so she figured she'd just give it to me instead of just letting it go to waste. So, um, and I did mention the name last time and it's Uncle Funky's Daughter Extra Butter um, Brilliant Shine Cream and like I said, my friend, I'm not gonna, sh I'm not gonna show you this because it has my little hairs inside. <laughs> I'll show you like the little tip of it. But, um, it's not like a really thick cream. It's kind of more thin and um, not not too thick. It's more watery. 
it's not watery, but it's more watery than like a, a thicker one would be. So I use like a little bit of this. And okay, so this is one product that I really like. I think it, I've looked on the website. I didn't buy this, so I don't know how much she paid for it, but I think it's like $20 on the website, which I'm just kind of like, uh, but I'm a little more um, open to buying it because I don't really buy anything else. Um, I bought some Oyen Handmade Whipped Pudding, which I read really good reviews about, so I was excited about getting that, and then I used it, and it's okay, but I don't know. Like, it, I, I just, I like this. Like, I, I just really, really like this. The key the trick to this is you use the hair butter but you always 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 or I don't I don't want to say you I always 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 um seal or whatever you want to call it like my second product that I always put on after this is just some good old shea butter you guys this is like the best thing in the world like this is the reason why I will not be a product junkie like Nothing can do for me what my shea butter can do for me. And honestly, like as you can see, this is just in a Ziploc <laughs> container. Um, oof, this has a lot of hairs in it too. But so this is um, just like my little shea butter mixture that I mixed up. And it's just raw shea butter that I melted all the way down, which I've read that you shouldn't do that, but whatever I did it. So um, I melted it all the way down in the microwave and I just added like a bunch of oils like tea tree oil, um, jojoba oil, olive oil. I added shea butter oil to my shea butter. That was probably pointless but I did it anyway. Um, a little bit of grapeseed oil and I think that was it. Maybe argan oil but I don't think so. Um, now the downside to this is it doesn't smell very good. Um, but you can add fragrant oils. I've seen people do that on YouTube a lot. I thought about adding some vanilla extract to it. I haven't done it, but if you think that would be a good or bad idea, let me know. Comment down there. Just give me your feedback on that. But anyway, this shea butter is just like, if you don't, I don't see how you don't use shea butter. I mean, if you have like this kind of texture, you need this shea butter. I mean, not this one, but you need some shea butter and mix it with some oils and like put it on after you use whatever you use, your Miss Jessie's, your Kinky Curly, whatever, I don't know all the names, whatever you use, seal it with some shea butter. I promise like your hair is going to be, you're just going to be in love. You're not going to want to take your hands out of it. So let's see, that's, we're at about seven minutes and 50 seconds. This is so much longer than I wanted it to be. I've been rambling. So I'm going to end this here, but um, hopefully if you're a 4C, if you're a newly natural, or even if you're not newly natural and you're just looking for something that'll really moisturize your hair because our hair can tend to be very dry, um, shea butter, and you may want to try the Uncle Funky's Daughter Chew. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, maybe I'll make another video soon when the mood strikes. So Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.